Well, Steph, sad news coming tonight in the Steve Holcomb case. As you said, the coroner's report is in on the death of the Olympic bobsledder Steve Holcomb. It shows both prescription pills and alcohol were in the system when he died in Lake Placid, May 6. To be more specific, the report says Holcomb's blood alcohol level was a .188, well above the point of intoxication. He also had more than the typical dose of prescription sleeping pill Lunesta in his system. An initial autopsy last month showed that the fluid in Holcomb's lungs played a significant factor in his death, but no exact cause of death was relieved, revealed until today. Steve Holcomb was a decorated athlete, winning 60 World Cups, 10 World Championships, and was, in the three, was a three-time Olympic medalist. He brought home gold in the four-man bob competition in the 2010 Olympics in Vancouver. Now, Holcomb was just more than an athlete. When I went to Holcomb's memorial service on May 11th, his teammates talked to me about, for a while, about the loss. They considered him a friend, a brother, a guy who they loved deeply. Teammates tell me that this year's Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang will be in his memory. Josh Luttrell, NBC5 Sports.